Okay, this is uh, my second day with the Unity desktop, and this is beta 1, so it's not the final. But anyways, um, so far so good. You know, I like it. You know, it is very unique, and, and it is a different way of doing things, but it's not intimidating, you know. Uh, I guess from a new user who wants to sit down and, and uh, you know, basically if you sit down at this desktop for about, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you'll get the hang of it. Um, I guess the only issue I had personally was, a, was some of the workflow. Um, if you're used to like a text launcher, say like Gnome Do or whatever, and and you know you'll be fine if you click. You know, I can. I, well, let me uh, show you something. I think if you tap the the window key, this pops up. And if you start typing stuff, you know, like whatever, you know, you can search for your applications. And if you're used to a text launcher, you know, that's fine. You know, but if you're like a new user and you're not really familiar with that. And you want to, you know, look for an application that you installed. And I, I had a, a comment here about, uh, you know, finding an application. And there's like a big old huge search bar and stuff. Um, you know, he he's right. Um, but I was like, what I was really looking for was like, uh, like previous installed applications. You know, like if you're used to the older GNOME series, the two series. Well, not really older, but people what people are using now. You know, on the top you have an applications tab. You click on the tab, and, and it's all broken down to groups, and it's very easy to get to. You know, anybody, it's it's real simple. And I was kind of looking for that, some familiarity to it, and um, and I just wasn't finding it. And um, I, but I did, you know, after the, I ended that video, I did find what I was looking for. And basically, um, it depend. It, there's like two spots you can go. So I'm gonna go where I guess the most obvious place would be would be up here. You know, and click up here. And if you go like more apps, so that's like another click. Then there's this little tab right here, this little arrow. And I did not see that at first, but now that I see it and you click on it, and it gives you, you know, all your applications that's installed, you know, all this big old list. And um, you know, and I guess from a from a new user point of view, it, it like when I first jumped into it, I had no experience with Unity at all, and I was kind of struggling with it and but now I know it's there. I, I, you know, I'll remember and I can find it. But, but still, it's still kind of a, a little bit of a chore to find to actually find things, unless you use the the, the uh, text launcher. So it, you have to like, you know, use it. You know, actually to be quick with it. And that's the workflow issue I'm talking about. And um, it is broken down to the, to different groups, but not here visually. But it's broken down over here in this little box. So you can you can sort things out to make it a little bit easier. But other than that, um, you know, it's 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 nice. You know, it's good. It's not like a horrible thing. You know, and and I can't really be saying stuff like that because it is a beta. You know, I can't be saying that. You know, it's awesome or it's or it's or it's a or it's totally crap. But it is nice. I can say that much. And it's it's something new, and you're gonna like actually sitting down at it and 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 you know finding something new. You know, because it's a new experience. And, um, and not only that, it's it's a uh, it is it's how can I say this? I don't know how to really explain this, but I don't know. I guess you can say it's like it's inviting. I guess you know it looks fun. If <laughs> if <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of lost for words here, but it's it's different, you know. So give it a try. Um, you know, I'm definitely gonna be installing this on a little test machine I have. It's a little old Dell Latitude, and and the thing about that Dell, it's an older Intel chipset, and it's an A55 GM, and those things are notorious for being little uh, Linux killers. You know, it, it it has a hard time, you know, rendering, you know, you know, flash and 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 effects, and sometimes the damn thing won't even boot at all. So I'm gonna try it on that and see how it goes. But other than that, it it's a good little it's a good little desktop. It's 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 unique. But um. Anyways, like how I had the issue before with uh, you know, finding that particular application. Um, click on the uh, Ubuntu Software Center, and when you're gonna install something, when you search for your 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 app, uh, click on More Info, then click on Install. And right away on the bottom it says Add to the Launcher, and that's really cool. I just didn't see that at first, and I kind of wish maybe they would have had that like like right there right when you first click install but you had to go to uh, I believe more info to get to that little point so 
so anyways that's like the only kind of gri gripe I have with the whole installation thing but not too bad it's actually quite quite good and as you can see how I had this little question mark um, I actually had this application installed then I removed it and when I removed it it left the little icon left over so I, I can and they're still working on it so I can't really say too much about that so so anyways uh, what else can I say about this? Uh, oh yeah, and there's also hotkeys. If you tap the button, that's your text, your little, you know, shortcuts. Or if you hold the the key, you get like one, two, three, four, five, and you can launch. You know, if you, just as long as you hold on your window key or super key, then on the top your your number buttons they cor they correspond with your applications on your dock. And that's another thing about the dock too. Like I like, I personally use Caro Dock or GLX Dock, and the one thing I like about GLX, it's it's super customizable. You can make it so, so, uh, you know, like in your face with effects, but you can also make it very functional as well. And this one, it's it's somewhat locked down. Well, it is locked down. You can't move it. It's not very customizable. There is some aspects about it that you can customize, like the whole size of the dock and and uh, the way it reacts when it comes to window movement overlapping, like uh, you know, like this you can do stuff like that but one thing I do I can give it that it is very functional so and that's from a from a new user standpoint you know they, they can see that and they can see how it works and they can kinda you know you know they can mess with it and, and get the hang of it you know it's it's, just, it's it's fairly straightforward so that's a plus so anyways other than that I can't say whether I'm gonna install this on my desktop or not because this is not the final but I am gonna put on my on my little Dell and just kick it around for a bit and just see how it goes, you know? But anyways, that's it for this uh video, so uh thanks for watching.